Welcome back to Oakhaven. We still have snow on the ground. Julie and I have been taking advantage of that. We've gotten to go out and go cross-country skiing a few times, which is kind of nice. We don't, don't often have that much snow in the Cincinnati area here. We uh, often have more ice than we do snow, so it's, uh, it's been kind of nice. Uh, the other thing that's nice about the snow is that we get a, a glimpse into who else is living on our property along with us. Uh, as we're going along through the woods, we can see their tracks of animals that we don't often see, but we can, we can find their tracks in the snow. So we thought we would take you along. Uh, we'd go through and identify some tracks and, uh, and see what else is living on this property with us. So Timber's gonna be walking along with us. So we should start off with the track that's probably the most uh, prevalent around the house, which is dog track. Uh, so if you look at her dog tracks here, dog tracks are round. She has four toes. Uh, dogs, you can see their claws at the end of each pad. So you've got four toes and then the back pad, four toes. And a dog, the, the front paw is bigger than the back paw. So you can see here's her front paw and then her back paw is up close to it. As she's, as she's running more, that back paw may move up a little bit. But, uh, so that's a dog, pretty much a round um, uh, print there. <laughs> Over here, we can start off on a number of things just on our patio as long as Kimber doesn't walk across all of them, which she does. So here you can see a squirrel. Squirrels have these long back legs and shorter front legs, and then they leap. You can see this is probably three feet. And they, uh, their, their back legs land in front of their front legs. So it looks kind of weird, but you can imagine this, this squirrel hopping along through here. So this is going to be awkward going into the shadow, but this is our cat, Cayenne. You can see a, kind of a similar look to the, the dog paw print. There's a back pad and four front um, pads, but no claws. So cats have a retractable claw, so you don't find the claw. And the other thing that you find about the cats is if you look back here, there is print, print, oh, just move back a little bit, print, print. They're pretty much straight in a line. You know, cats like to walk one foot in front of the other. So models on the, on the runway showing off their clothing, they talk about that being the catwalk that comes by naturally because they tend to walk the same way, putting one foot in front of the other, crossing over as they're walking along. So that's pretty distinctive of the cat. Now I say that foxes tend to walk the same way, one foot in front of the other, very narrow pathway. But uh, the difference is that a fox will have the claws showing and a cat does not have the, the claws showing. This is probably one of the most common tracks on the property other than the dog and the cat. Uh, this is a white-tailed deer. You can see him walking along here. Uh, it's a, a hoof. So it's the only thing we have that has a hoof and this is a, a cloven hoof. So it's two parts with a, a dividing line down the middle. They're, they're walking, this is the front of the, the hoof print, so he's walking that direction, and you can see one step here, and one step here, one step here, one step here. People say that it looks like a heart, because it's got the back has a kind of a rounded look, and then it comes to kind of a point in the front. So that's the white-tailed deer. Here's leading off this way is another squirrel print. You can see he, he's jumped from here, and he's jumped all the way three feet over and he's he's landed on that um, that log over there didn't land for very long he kept going actually if you look further on he jumped off of the log down in between the logs and then up onto the next log over there <laughs> so squirrels tend to be leapers like that raccoons tend to walk squirrels tend to to leap You can see walking across here is another deer track, much smaller than the one that we were looking at. Um, you can see that this deer track is maybe about two and a half inches long. And if you look over on the other side of the, the track here, the other the trail, you know, it's a good four inches long. It's much bigger deer coming back down this way.
here's Cayenne, the uh, cat paw prince. Sorry, let me get out of the sun there. And you can see you can follow those up. And there he is. Cayenne is interesting because there's an extra finger in here because he's a uh, polydactyl. He's got six toes rather than five toes. Uh, so it's it's kind of hard to read there, but you can tell there's just a, an abundance of toes in that footprint. Hi. Hi. So we've had something walk across the driveway here. And if you come over and look at the, the prints, they're pretty distinctive. The front print, the toes are really splayed out. And the back print, the what I'll call the, the, um, the big toe, almost points back. This is a possum, or opossum. I call it a possum. This one probably shows it pretty well with the, the sun hitting it. So the front paws are splayed out, and the back has this toe that sticks out backwards, kind of. Can show more. That's another good one here. In there. That's cool. Yeah, I, I we never see possums around here. Generally, you think of possums as you see them when they get into the trash can, but <laughs> we don't have them getting into the trash can, so we don't actually see them very often. But it's nice to know that they're here. So one of the problem with, problems with living in the woods is our driveway is a third of a mile long. So we get a snow like this, and it's a third of a mile up a steady slope. We can't get up and down the slope very well with our car. So you can see we're parked down at the end of the road so that if we need to get out, uh, we can get out. This particular weather that we had was uh, freezing rain for a while. So underneath the snow is a layer of ice. It's a, a little treacherous for driving. Fortunately, they've got the roads cleared off but our driveway is, uh, is kind of a little treacherous right now. So what we have going along here is what kind of looks like a cat track in that the, the, uh, the paws are placed one in front of the other into that catwalk look, very narrow track. Um, but I know that it goes down to a fox den down here. So this is actually a fox track. And unfortunately, when we first saw this, it was clearer, and you could see that there was a, um, you could see the, the, the print better, and you could see that it was not cat, but it was indeed fox. But uh, here you can see it walking along, fairly straight line, going off into the distance. So a, a fox, you'd be able to see the claws. It looks more like a tiny um, dog print rather than the cat print. But right now, it's, uh, it's changed enough, it's, it's softened that we can't pick up that, that track. We'll look and see if we can find some more later on. So along this ridge, we have the very distinctive tracks of what Julie has referred to as a geriatric Olympian. This is where I was cross-country skiing through here and you can see the telltale tracks and going through uh, very flat. Uh, but we did cross over while I was doing this the other day. Some other very distinctive tracks these V-shaped tracks, more like an arrow, comes down, comes up, and goes over, comes down, comes up, goes over, comes down, comes up, comes over, okay? So this is a turkey. And you can see he's walked here, 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 and he's kind of walking down through here. Big bird stepping, okay? So when I first saw this, I thought, oh, is this a turkey or could it be a great blue heron? Now we're in the middle of the woods, so a turkey makes more sense. A great blue heron would have a, a, um, a foot coming out the back, so it would have the four, whereas the turkey, basically, you can just see the three. Uh, turkeys walk. They're a ground bird, so they walk one foot in front of the other, as opposed to, like, uh, passerines, the songbirds that you would find at your feeder, which are perching birds, so they have a, a toe in the back and three in the front, and uh, when, they, when they're down on the ground, they tend to hop around. But uh, ground birds, like turkeys and grouse and uh, other things, uh, tend to walk. Now, this morning we were watching the juncos out walking around our yard. They would be considered a passerine. They're a perching bird, but they never come up on the bird feeders. And when you see them, they walk kind of like a, a ground bird. 
So this is a turkey. We'll, we'll follow the tracks a little bit and maybe we can find some tracks that are in a little better shape. So here are the tracks. They're definitely getting worn, but you can see the track here and he steps here, comes over, steps here. He's working his way along, stepping through the woods here. He hasn't been here since for a couple days. So I wonder where he is right now. So here we seem to have this kind of dog-like track again, uh, but smaller. Is it a is it a coyote? Is it a fox? I'm not sure that it's pretty even, pretty straight lined. Let's see where it goes. I should mention that the tracks are really dependent on what the what the animal is doing. If an animal is walking, he's going to have one set of tracks. If he's running, it's going to be a completely different set of, of how the uh, the hind and the fore paw are um, aligned and uh, how straight they are. So our our dog-like track goes through here, but we also do have this squirrel track. You can see jump, jump, jump track disappears. I'm sure he jumped up onto this branch and climbed up this tree. Here we have an interesting track. Something, again looking small dog-like, has come up the slope here. Seems to be walking along at an even pace. Comes up to this tree and then the tracks disappear. So what would be climbing a tree? This isn't like a squirrel. This is something, you know, th this is a question I don't know. Do foxes climb trees? I've heard that gray foxes are more likely to climb a tree. I kind of pictured that like a log more than going straight up a tree. Um, but uh, we'll have to look into that a little bit. Anyway, there's a story here to be told, and uh, hopefully this is going to um, encourage you the next time you're out and there's snow on the ground to take the time to look at the tracks, to, to see if you can read what story is in the landscape, uh, see if you can kind of tell what the animals are doing. So we've had a good time walking through the woods today. Hopefully you've had a good time too. Um, thanks for coming along.